So let's make a start on this bad boy. Uh, right, what we're going to start with is Saigal Brown. Uh, we're going to go over all the hair on the horse, all the horse's skin. We're not going to get the hooves. We're not going to get the leather straps or the, the cloth around its head or the armor on its head at the minute. Um, but yeah, we'll start with the horse. Take some Saigal Brown. <clears throat> I'm also going to try a wet palette for once. I've played with it a little bit, getting the right sort of um, consistencies, but this would be the first time I've really painted a model with it. So we go all over, try not to get on any of the, the strapping, any of the cloak. Just go around nice and carefully. Uh, primed the model with the Color Forge Ghoul Grey. I think it's Ghoul Grey. The equivalent to Grey Seer anyway. So if you've got Grey Seer, do Grey Seer. I'm going to come all the way down to around there with the hair on the, the top of the feet. I haven't quite decided what I'm doing with the, uh, the base of it yet, like the ground texture and whatnot. But we'll figure that out before we get there. One of the last bits I'm going to do, I think. It's a lot to go around on this, so take time. Make sure you get all the nooks and crannies, and uh, back in a minute. So, oh, focus. Gone over the horse. All the hair, all the skin, uh, with Saigal Brown. Let that dry a bit. I just realised I missed a spot up here, which I'll go back and get in a second. Um, what we're going to do now is go over all the robes, straps, leather parts with Black Legion. So I guess, there we go. So this is going to be the majority of the model. Hopefully all that's left after this is going to be the metal bits, metallics. And get inside that hood as well. Um, yeah, all over it. So, take some of this. Before I do that, I'm just going to use a bit of cycle brown off my palette to get that in there. Looks almost like a little bit of releasing agent. We'll see how that dries. So, Black Legion. Put a bit on my palette. And I'm just going to start by going across all of the ring race robes. Also give the um, Saigal Brown a little bit longer to dry. A little bit. Just where it's overlapped. That will be all. I haven't gone back round and tidied up at this stage because we are using predominantly dark colours shouldn't be an issue. If we've got lots of cycle brown all in there, like on the, the top, a bit of resin come off there then. If I got a bit here, then yeah, I would 
started out. But I didn't. So I don't need to. I'm not going to paint the blade at this point. One thing I don't need to know. Is the blade sheathed or is it just open? Where is my box art? I'll have a look for it in a minute. Now the gaps weren't too bad on this model. Um, especially this bit itself, there wasn't many. Um, if you do attempt to do this out, what I would recommend is assembling the horse first before you attempt to um, put the rider on. Because I, I jumped the gun a bit and this leg had to go underneath this foot and I had to bend it a little bit to uh, manipulate it. There's a bit of a gap there, but because it's going to be predominantly black, don't think it's going to be an issue. If it was uh, a line between two different colours, even then I don't think it would be much of an issue. It's only a tiny gap in comparison to some other bits. Where there was um, the bit on the tree stump that I had to fill the only bit I have to actually do. I did rattle around a while, a while as well, whether to permanently fix this into the base, with the display base. But I thought, no, we'll keep it, keep it separate. See how it goes. So just take your time with this bit, go around nice and carefully. When you're doing the straps and if you do get it on that, that ring, don't worry because we're going to touch them up afterwards. So don't worry about that. So we've gone around with the Black Legion. Uh, I'm going to pick out this front part on the, the horse's head, also in leather. Looking at the artwork, I do believe it is meant to be leather. Um, and But now I'm going to go around all the metallic parts with Lead Belcher, the, uh, the, the horseshoes, because you can see the, the shoe on the foot there. We've got bits around on the leather uh, harnesses and stuff, the sword, the armor. Bits and pieces like that. So we're going to start with that. <clears throat> Get some on the palette. And we're just going to start with the sword. as careful as you can not to get it on the black if there's black on it like just there and then just paint over it it'll be fine it's a big drop of water just come off my paintbrush Details and paint in silver. As careful as we can not to get anywhere else. If you do get it on the black, 
just touch it back up with the Black Legion. Depending on where it is, it shouldn't make much of a difference. If it if it, you get it on like the shoulder up here, then um, you might have to touch it back up with Grace here first to then go over it with the Black Legion. out all your metallic parts. We got his hands here, got the pommel of the sword, here another hand, his feet, chains, links, all around. Take your time, go around, pick out all the metallic parts. So now we've gone around with the silver, we touched up the uh, uh, browns and the blacks where we need to realized there and missed right on that damn corner the um undercoat shows very brightly through on the um no take the paint of dark these bits here are the uh the buckles that you can see shining i've just missed that white spot right there near his head but here's what it is i'll pick it up in a minute i've also gone around and done uh black legion on the hooves and lead belcher on the shoes or shoes but what I'm going to do now is take some right kind of flesh shade and I'm going to shade all of the horse's skin. I'm not going to get the fur, I'm just going to get all the, the skin. So yeah, we'll start that. I'm going to put a bit on my palette just to see what it does. Hopefully nothing too drastic. Uh, right, I'm going to start on this side, I think. Yeah. Start up here, right up against the hair, and just get up to the hair, but not the hair itself. Yep, in the hair. So now I have shaded that with the right kind of flesh shade. I'm going to take some Targor Raid Shade. And what I'm going to do is do this on the bottom half of its coat because he's got like a uh, top half from his shoulders covering his head and coming down the front. And he's got the bit on his arms coming down the back. So what we're going to do is take some Targor Raid Shade and go on the one at the back. I nearly threw that one over myself up. Get some on the palette. So, we're going to go that one, this line here, we're going to follow this line. Away from it. And same on this side as well. Go from this line, it's like a separate cloak, piece of cloth. Here. 
Alright, so that is that cloak. A little bit more of a palette. get the underside of it as well so we're going to approximately do it from other lines because there's obviously less detail on the underside and we'll just get this edge where it meets with the horse as well. I know I said I would, but I'm just check in. And that's what I wanted to do. Up to that. Now I am going to come around slightly into the arm, but that fold there is going to be my last bit. Come down, get in the recesses in there. If you saw that very well, but we'll do it again this arm. So I'm gonna get the arm, just stop with that crease. Tiny brush, it's only a size, size one, I think. I'm just going to touch up the eyes just to uh, redefine. Nice sharp point, nicely watered down, and I'm just going to go over the eyes real careful. Some of that. Just realised you haven't been in focus for a while. And then the other side. Focus, come on. There we go. Just going to pick out that eye. Okay, if you're not confident doing that bit, don't do it. It will look fine being black, but I'm going to pick it out with red. We're going to take some Blood Angels Red. Blood, yeah, Blood Angels Red. Blood Angels Red, and we're just going to carefully pick out our eyes again with this. Same brush again. Be a bit more heavy on this one show up so much if it goes across the uh, the flesh but the neater the better just go across the eye like that and you should end up with a nice red eye so on this side 
beautiful red eye. Whilst I have the uh, Targol, Targor Rage Shade, oh my god, I can't talk. Targor Rage Shade, yes, that one, out. What I'm gonna do is just go over the metallics. Get all your metallic parts, go around it nice and carefully. Nice and carefully. Get into the armor. All the crevices and cracks in the armor. Now that it's dried on all our metallics, what I'm going to do is take some Norn oil and I'm going to go over the robes that I didn't get previously with the Targoil Raid shade. And I'm also going to go over the metallics again. Uh, right, so, where'd, so it was this top half, this part down to around here. Do that bit first because I know that it is. Now I got the arms with the Targor Raid shape previously. So I won't do the sleeves. But I will get in that gap because I didn't get there. Person where Tug or Red Shade is, it looks slightly different, and that's the point. We want it a slight variation, give some a bit more interest to the black. And we came up to this point, so get in there. Strapped with this just yet. We am going to go inside the hood, chest piece, and that bit, and then go around with get all the metallics. Same as you did with the tackle. Just carefully go over it. I'm going to have to touch up some of these metallics with um, straps. I'm going to have to touch up some of the straps because I've gone overlapping on some of them and it looks a bit rough before I move on to the next step with them. But you don't need to see that. What I'll do is I'll just skip forward and I'll carry on. Get his 
zoomt. There we go. Uh, focus. We'll let that dry and we'll be back in a minute. Whilst the non oil is drying, we're going to take some Scaven Blight Dinge. There you go. Uh, we're going to go over the, the lower half of the robes where we went over with the Targor Raid Shade. I just realised I missed some of the robes. That bit there, look. So again, we'll uh, put this on the palette just to keep it consistent. Still don't really know what I'm doing with this or if I'm using it effectively, but it seems to be working. It makes my uh, paints a lot more usable for a longer time. So we are using a huge brush, so we can change that. Size is that one? That was a size zero. That must be a size one. Try size zero. Just a bit extra control. So we're just going to catch the edges. Highlight the edges of these robes that we did in Tiger or Rage Shade. So just use the edge of your brush to go along. When you've got a defined edge like the edge of his sleeve there, it's nice and easy. When you've got an edge that's more of a fold becomes a bit more difficult. But we'll work with that. So some of these are really pronounced, like that one. Literally just use the edge of brush. Catch that edge. Then we can come up and then use the tip of our brush. Work our way around. Obviously, this bit is quite time consuming. The uh, effort will be worth it in the end. If you mess up on this, don't worry. Hit it with the uh, Black Legion again and just go over it one more time. Uh, if, it, if it's just a slight You've gone over it slightly, it doesn't look quite right. Don't worry too much. The more practice at this, the better. The better you'll become. I am not great at it, but again, getting better. should have a sleeve that looks something like that. Now, I'm going to go around and do the, the rest of the bottom half of his cloak, so this, this section here, all of his back here, and this sleeve. So I'll be back in a moment. Now that we've done that, we're going to take some Storm Vermin Fur, and we're going to do the uh, sharpest edges around 
where we've just been on the cloak. We're going to take, uh, what am I doing? Brushes, there we go. We're going to take some, put it on the palette with a big old brush so we can get at it on a smaller brush. Oh, so, there we go. Move that out of the way. So, same as before, just we want the highest edges this time. Sharpest edges, rather. So, we want this, this edge. Any nicks, scratches, you can dot them just like that. Help if you can focus, really, wouldn't it? Why is there a bubble? That's weird. I can't say I've ever had that before. Did you see that? There was a bubble on the end. And what is going on? Look at bubbles appearing on the end of my paintbrush. Can't say I've ever had that before. And there you go, there's your title. Using a wet palette causes bubbles. Get that corner there. I'm going to get this corner. Run up this edge. Because that is a definite edge between the two. Do is just go along and get the sharpest corners like that along the edge. Just pick out some of the, the bigger folds. Like, that one's quite a pronounced fold. This one here. I don't want all of them, just some of the more prominent ones. Back. 
There we go. Should be something like that. Right, now that we've done that. Now that we've done that, we are going to take some eshing grey and go over the top half, so the bit that we went over with the non oil. Same process again. Uh, get some on the palette first. This, what size brush is this? This is still a size zero. That is really off where well, you can't see that. It's because of the reflection on it, isn't it? But it's a uh, Windsor & Newton um, size zero. Just, I like these ones because they hold a point for me very well. But we're doing the same, same like we did before. We're gonna go around all over the uh, robes Exactly like previous two steps, but we're doing it on this part instead of the other. With them being next to each other, we should hopefully see a nice variation between the two. your brush where you can. Appreciate this. It may be hard to see because it's um, painting in grey on black basically aren't we? Which is very difficult but just take your time. Hopefully you've got a good plan of where to go with your highlights from the, uh, the Black Legion. I do believe we are there with that one. So you can see there is a, a slight distinction between the two black robes, which is kind of what we're, we were after. If it focuses, there we go. Nicely focus, come on. Oh my word. Focus, focus, focus. There we go, sorry. It's, um, yeah, got a nice distinction between the two, but it still reads as black. What is going on tonight? Focus. There you go. So what we're going to do now is take some graphite from AK. This will be the same as um, Codex Grey or Dawnstone or something like that. I unfortunately don't have them. So I am going with this. I'm going to highlight up that area that we've just done. Same as the last step on the other side of the black. We are just picking out the sharpest edges again. So, the hood.
So there we are. That is the robes done. I'm gonna work on the horse, work on the lever on the horse, work on the metallics. But that is the the robes done of our Nazgul, our Dark Rider. Right now we are at this point. We are going to highlight up the uh, the horse's flesh. We're going to go around and like define the muscles and bits and pieces like that. For this, we have blood reaver flesh. I'm just going to take a bit of this and put it on our palette. change but it's a very subtle one and what I'm gonna do stop shaking the camera is take some go for brown and we're just gonna touch up the bits where we just highlighted just to give them a bit of more definition Okay, 
very quickly go back to the Blood Reaver. Just gonna pick out the nostril and the top lip there. Again, nostril. That bit of the lip. I'm not gonna go around the face, uh, the eye. To black two, back to the uh, Gorfo Brown. I'm just going to get the edge of that nostril to find that lip a little bit. it drastically but it's giving it a nice look. Time to finish off this horse. So going back to the Gorfall Brown we're gonna take a touch of that. Just a bit on our palette same as previously just fin it a touch and we are going to highlight up the tail and the mane. Just picking out the most prominent points. There's no point trying to chase every little hair here. Just the ones that stick out the most. You can just use that side of your brush just to pick them out. So the same again on the main, we're not picking out every individual hair here, we're just picking out prominent ones.
Okay. So what we are going to do next, now we've done that, is take some lead belcher and we're going to thin it down slightly like we have done everything else so far. And we're just going to go around and highlight up the metallics. Same method as before. A lot of edge highlight on this because it's a lot of sharp points. Just going to catch that like that.
from that, we'll finish off our metal bags. Uh, right, going back to the black, we're going to get the leather parts, the strap in, and the, the cloth over the top of the uh, horse's head. And to do that, we're going to do the same as we did with the robes. We're going to start with a Targor Raid Shade, highlight with there we go, Targor Raid Shade, Scaven Black Dinge, and then highlight again with Storm Vermin Fur. Same as we did on the lower half of the, the, um, the robes, but we're going to get it all across all of the uh, strap in and uh, cloth. Same method as before. Now, this time we've already got our silver bits done, so just be a little bit more careful about where your paint goes. Now, if you do get it over the top, it's uh, not the end of the world, just reapply your highlighter silver. Lead belcher. So now the Targar Raid Shade is dried, we are going back in with the Escape of Black Dinge, same as before. Just carefully go around your, your strapping. Well, I'll start with the cloth actually. as before. When it comes to the straps, I'm just going to get that top line like that. Not going to worry about the rest. Don't need to highlight both of it, both of it and the inside. And the verticals, I'm just going to do the easiest one to get to. So that one's a little bit difficult, but that's the easier edge. And the strap. Thank you. 
do apologize, camera's going all over the place. Alright, this strap, we're going to start here. We're going to focus, there we go. And I'm just going to run it down like that. We've got the top of the saddle here. So I'm just going to get that, that can be a little bit thicker. And we've got the strap there. Coming down this side. So the ones on the body obviously a little bit diff more difficult to do. So I'm just going to get as best as I can. Just gently tickle it. Obviously you can do this at the same stage as the uh, cloak, it's not any different, so I wasn't 100% sure what I was going to do with it, so I uh, yeah, backtracked a bit. Now the same as the cloth as before, just go around picking out the high points. Obviously you got strapping in here too, so you can pick that out the best you can. If you're not confident with doing this bit, just don't do it. It's not going to break the model. If you uh, don't do it, remember the um, subject matter is the rider, not the horse. Although it needs to be painted, it doesn't need to be as greatly defined as the rider. I'm just going to change my brush because that's got a bit of a random hair coming up, a bristle coming off it. So I'm just going to change my brush to the Winter and Newton. It is a little bit easier for getting these bits as well. Random bubbles again.
Wonderful. Now that's done. We're going to take our storm vermin fur and just pick out the highest points with this. This needs a good shake. But it is storm, storm vermin fur. So with the strap in, I'm just going to pick out a little bit because it doesn't need that much detail, it's just straps. Touch on the uh, bit sad. So there we have our finished uh, ring wraith. Sorry about this bit, the uh, um, video cut out in the last portion that you can uh, follow back and uh, copy it how we did the bottom of the robes. I haven't finished the base yet, as you can see. Um, I will be finishing that off around the same time as the rest of the base. But we got this bit done. We got the rider and the horse done. Uh, time to work on some hobbits, I think. Hope you enjoyed this one. Um, let me know what you think in the comments. Thank you very much. See you again soon. Bye-bye.